There are many, many uh, videos and things done by uh, Europeans and Americans which tend to portray that the ancient Egyptians were their whites or Europeans or their Caucasians. But uh, many, many people have tried to disprove it using uh, historical and archaeological uh, uh, proofs and facts and observations. We want to submit our own proof using what we can deduce from the Bible that the Egyptians were not uh, Europeans, they are not white people, they are not Caucasians. That the Europeans were, that the Egyptians were truly Africans. Uh, the first uh, proof was that the, the Egyptians were among the children of Ham. Noah had three children. Japheth was the father of the Asian race. Shem was the father of the, uh, sorry, Japheth. Japheth was the father of the European race. Shem was the father of the Asian race, which include the Arabs, the Jews, the Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, and so on. While Ham was the father of the African race. From the Bible, we can, we can get it from by reading Genesis 9 and 10. You can read, get it that uh, Ham was the father, had four children. The firstborn of Ham was Cush, and the meaning of Cush was black. So, and the second born of Ham was Mizraim or Egypt. So, if my, let's say my elder brother, his name is Cush, and I am Mizraim, so you can know that I have affinity, very close affinity with uh, blood ties or DNA ties. With my elder brother, my elder brother can. It's difficult for my elder brother to be a black man, while I am a white man. So, the first child of a ham was Cush or Ethiopia, while the second child was Mizraim or Egypt. The third child was a foot, while the last child was Canaan. So these are the children of Ham. And if and God has made it so good that not that Cush was not the uh, last child or in the middle, God placed Cush, the black guy, as his firstborn of Ham. So all his younger siblings, including Egypt, must have very close DNA ties with with Cush. Also, Egypt and uh, Ethiopia, they were often referred to uh, like very close brothers or like twins in the Bible. Wherever you find Egypt, you always find Ethiopia. If there are blessings for Egypt, there are blessings for Ethiopia. And if there are costs for Egypt, there are always costs for Ethiopia. In the same page, or in the same chapter, or in very close chapters of the Bible. Egypt and Ethiopia, Egypt was like an elder brother, and Ethiopia was like a younger brother. Although by birth, Ethiopia was the elder brother, but by development, economic development, political development, military development, Egypt was more developed than Ethiopia. So Ethiopians came to work in Egypt and to become their mercenaries. Egypt, if you read the Bible very well, Egypt often used Ethiopians as, yeah, as her mercenaries for war. For war. If you read Isaiah 20 and um, Isaiah, Isaiah 20, for instance, 
you find it there. But let's go further according to this uh, uh, text. So they were often referred together with Egypt. It's often referred together with Ethiopia. In many passages of the Bible, such as Isaiah 18 and 19, Ezekiel 29 and 30, Isaiah 45, Isaiah 20, and Jeremiah 46. There are many more. There are more than this, but these are the ones we just, we just took for emphasis or for the purpose of this work. Also, the from my own personal conviction, I noticed that the or observation, I noticed that the symbol you in some occasion often is often associated with something black or dark. For instance, the word kush, kush having the word you, the symbol you in some occasions represent black or blackness, such as the word kush or kushite. The meaning is black with reference to Ethiopia. Yoruba words such as dudu, dudu means black in Yoruba. Oru means midnight in Yoruba. Edu means black shako in Yoruba. So this U vowel 